This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchor to me, Ife Omai, and Ife Olu Oshunke. It's good. How are you doing? Well, I thought I should spice it up a Huh? What did you spice up? No, I forget it. Uh, <laughs> oh, mm, okay. How's <clears throat> it going? Good, 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 good. How are you good. doing? It's Friday. What are the plans, people? What are we um, doing? I usually Stop don't have on. plans. And then plans. But people have plans in. for me. Oh, yeah. Shea, baby girl, but then like. do I follow through with the plan? I always disappoint <laughs> when Actually when I get home first, uh, it's difficult to bring me back yeah, out. Before, I just, if yeah. it's gonna happen. But if I move before. from work, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do it. Mr. Disappointed, down. in case you are watching, oh. try not to be disappointed this time and She's you know, do the extra. Do the extra. I make People sure just she need to communicate you. better. Like, mm -hmm. let me know from morning. We have this plan. It's not like it just feels like you finished at work and you feel like, why, why am I hanging out? Who Sometimes spontaneity and... is the spice yeah, of I know, life, but you know. Tiredness too is the it comes with adult <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes no matter how life. tired yes, you are, so. you know, you still have to wear those Jimmy shoes, you know, wear those high it's waist, you wear like, those, I, I, you know, I tell you every time that I cannot do what you do. Ah, no, you try. It's not easy. By the end of the day, man, you know, looking good is not a problem for you now. So, you know, you can wear anything and still look fly. Yeah, it's oh, not just so about the looking good. Yeah. It's about the energy. That's what I'm saying. I don't have the energy you have. And Mr. Mr. Wright has to have the right energy to put so, you, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's the energy that matters, you know, reciprocated mm. energy. Ah. Mm. You know, man. Mm. I feel like it's becoming a, a, the a day in therapy type thing, but mm. it's what it is. Yeah, yeah it, but the therapy is not actually for her because if Mr. we know that the person... Right. I'm sure Mr. Wright or Mr. Disappointed knows that she has a busy career and um, mm. he should understand that and know that man, when I'm coming through, I'm coming through with a bang. Bang Please, da da dang. Listen to him more. If he's really making sense, <laughs> <laughs> somebody's inside him. <laughs> okay, let's get right into the conversation for this episode. BB Ninja's mic unveils multi mask wallet. According to information on the website and his Twitter page, what he has invented in this product helps bring um, your everyday essentials together and keep you safe. It goes for approximately £22. And um, despite criticisms, backlash, banter and agenda, an update on his Instagram page says the product is 90% sold. Um, okay. <laughs> you know M? Okay. But at the end of the day, eh? Could make sense. Could make at all. Because now we're talking about germs. A lot of people are even doing the cash. If this came out before coronavirus, I don't think the world would care. Yeah. Like it would have. No, maybe I think 100%. we would have still cared. No, we would have nah. liked it to. Eh? The really? idea that you can put your money in your wallet on your put face. Put your money and where your mouth is. You have to put that line for one thousand so that you know that they are balling. They are not using oh, for five hundred naira. Like, so when you have to play in the club, you have to have ice. Hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> Tend to show off your card, what kind of card are you use? Is it a black, is it a gold card? Thank you, you know, the card nice especially. Dudes, yeah. ah. Okay. It's a, it will have been a good the black time. card will be I, up. I, I get where you guys are coming from, but even pre-coronavirus, post-coronavirus, I still think this is a very stupid idea because I've been mm. one of the that but has you always know, been you very... You know that I coronavirus love reminded us of germs. the presence of germs, bacteria, yeah. and then viruses. It reminded a lot of people. Don't say us. It's not okay to generalize it. It's See. very okay, Joe. I mean, Let me tell you why. Let me tell okay. you why it's mm. not okay to generalize it. I, I, I have a colleague, and I'm probably going to call her name. She's the head of our web team, right? Mm. And her name is Dami. Dami has never loved dealing with money. Dami has always, the moment cashless society started, Dami doesn't want to take cash from you. She doesn't want to spend that's, card. That, that's she wants not, to swipe her card. As, wants, so not, some people have been conscious of the germs yeah, no, that comes with money. this level of is different. We're talking about a face mask now. If, if you say that, it mostly cannot generalize. It means that before coronavirus, people actually used to wear masks. Oh, how many people are like Dami? Yeah, and even Dami well, so We don't know. Now, I know mask. a Dami. I know another Dami that is a Dami. And they all wore face masks before coronavirus. They didn't wear face so masks before, but they didn't deal with about germs, about germs yeah. you know, were money, cashless society. Everyone, most of the people who did, who had science backgrounds or even have OCD were particular about germs. This is mm. not the same thing as masks. I think masks for us gave us a, 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 another sense of paranoia. Not mm, just true, being healthy. True. I don't think Dami was paranoid about money, but even though she was skeptical. So now people are paranoid about that. When you now see this type of invention now, you're not thinking OCD. You're thinking, is it is, like, do I like the idea? You're thinking it doesn't even make sense for the virus because the paranoia doesn't so allow you. Because you can that. actually okay. put it in your pocket okay. and then bring it back can and we, then can put we, the can jams we take from your pocket on the your face. face. Can we take can we talk away? about how can we cannot also breathe can in we that? Take like away you piece Dami, piece Dami, you're trending. Can we take away even the virus now? And just look about 
the society we live in where you have your money in your... In fact, put it in your box <laughs> somebody you will pick you. it. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> put your money in a... See, okay... Now, okay, so a lot of things that I'm going to be saying on this table are very relatable to people that I work with, right? I know another person that had an iPhone X and a T-Mobile phone and mm -hmm. something, mm. and he put it in his bag. But the phone picker picked the X and left the normal one that had rubber band around mm. it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So these people know what they're going for. So how am I going to endanger myself? Would Even you have liked people, it better don't, don't if the money wasn't so obvious? Though? Yeah. Uh, but don't it, you think that he, would, for this society, also, maybe it would, would sell. Yeah. That would work. I think he has a target audience. Maybe it's not for regular people. Maybe it's for those that want to go to the club and show off. Like, I'm doing. You wear it, once you're leaving the house, yeah. that wallet is for that purpose. You put in your money, put in your black card. What are we going to call that type of spray? I don't know. Whisker spray. But I'm glad he's selling. I hope I hope this selling is true. And I'm I'm glad if he is truly and selling. Audio. You know, I mean a lot of people do the audio thing, but I'm glad he's selling if that's the case. And I'm guessing a lot of people buy into his idea anyway. So if like I you make, used to say, there's 20, always a market for whatever you want. If you decide to be mad, if I make somebody if it's cross one eye, there'll be like I like that. If I make twenty of this product, mm -hmm. I sell Five to my dad, five to my mom, self two to my girlfriend, sell one to, uh, 14. Have I not sold 90%? But then it's a success. It just means that he will not produce it again. Yeah, but how many did he make? So if you're telling us you sold 90, what's the 90%? 90%. Yeah, if you're telling us you sold 90%, 90% of what exactly? Mm. That's, I, I'm, the, that's so, the big I'm sorry, question. but I feel like with, with Mike, I'm expecting some level of mass, even if it's not like extreme. I'm pretty sure that this thing even got sponsorship to a certain level and all of that stuff, especially when it comes to the thread that he had. Mm. So I'm going to say that there was some, there was quite at least a bulk of it and it's not just family members yeah, book is i don't think i can take now. away from that. And you're, you're forgetting that it is mike everything mm. this guy wears looks sexy a lot of people want to look mm. sexy i'm okay. pretty sure that people mm. bought this thing because they like mike not they will need to buy they will need to buy his beard as well so that it's high and his face his... <laughs> okay so they'll how, buy it and keep it on the shelf yeah it's fine it's fine though that's that's a big question you know even scientifically speaking how can you breathe in a leather mask we're actually talking about Asho, K, Asho, uh, I've been mean, seeing people Kara. fainting when they run too much because of the face mask. Do you understand? I don't like, know how, so don't know how you now. say you're going for a walk or a run and then you wear face, face mask. mask. Like, you wear leather mask. No, it's okay to wear face mask. Congratulations to Mike for being an yes, inventor. That's how he put it. Yeah, he said he's yeah. now an inventor. So congratulations cool. to Which you. Is cool. And I'm glad that you're selling. So At least you started something. And shout out to Dami. Yeah, so moving <laughs> on. Veteran Nollywood actress Patience Ozokwo in tears as she receives car gifts from her children on her sister's second birthday. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, I, amazing. I really amazing. like this. I do. I, I like it when I see um, parents that have put in work because you, no one can see that and call Patience Ozokwo as when she was a youth, as a lazy Nigerian youth because mm. she put in the work and she's still putting in the work. So I like it when people like that, that put in the work and you know they're not doing it for just themselves they're also they most people that put in the work are doing it for their family for their loved ones mm -hmm. and then when that can be ripped at the end of the day like mm -hmm. when you rip the fruit of your label i'm really happy about that like um yeah, i think are putting the work and they yeah. are not here to rip it right yeah, yeah. So that's and i i, I think um um it's it's a good thing, you know, when children actually remember their parents because mm. at the end while of the day you need alive. Yeah, mm. while they're still alive. It's not that when these people die then you're not thinking of how to throw a good, flamboyant good party, I gold mean, coffee, really twenty like cows and all she that. She wasn't alone, like she had quite a lot of people next to her. For me that was like the icing on the cake. It just felt really warm in there. I mean there wasn't any videos or whatever, but it felt like there was quite a lot of love mm. in that room. Mm. And there's so many of them so many children and that have married and added another side sort of um family Grandma. to that who have produced more who have not produced more like that for me that is the importance of life personally speaking if anyone is winning in my book at the moment it is patience so cool because i don't know anything else that's more important than that and they have everyone together i'm not even sure if it's every single person but you have quite a lot of people together celebrating you celebrating your your life work i mean 62 is a big number mm. even in nigeria i, don't know why I didn't even think that she was up to 62. me too really? even in nigeria yeah. i feel like that number is if, 
according to statistics, because she's it's a still big very deal because working. women don't yeah, even. A lot obsessed. of people, you know, after when they turn 60, they just lean yeah. back and they just stop working. Mm -hmm. And if you see yeah. the numbers, women don't even, women are supposed to make it to that number according to statistics in Nigeria. So there's a lot of things for her to be grateful for. And I loved the car. It wasn't just the, you know. Uh, it was a car. For well, it was a car. Time. So was, please, you deserve it. And she's and blessed not, my And you know the so most important nice. part of this? If they got her something she could not afford, you would probably be like, okay, yeah, this is extreme. But she can afford this. But the children still deem the How do you know she can afford this? I know. Ah, patience has patience money. Patience is cool, yeah. though. <laughs> she, was saying, she was saying herself. But patience is very patience. cool. She, yeah, that's cool. She is very cool. She <laughs> charges a lot, actually. Uh, she charges she's a one lot. Of the top she you should, know, she, she can be stereotyped. That. That's the one thing about patience. She can play the wicked stepmom, which is a stereotypical mm. role that we know how to be or the mama who goes to the witch. But we've also seen patients do a lot of play lot other of characters stuff, yeah. that are not. She's been a pastor's wife. She's been there mommy a, There was a movie she, I saw where she was the one. Why do you have that smile? Oppressed. I was shocked from the beginning of the movie <laughs> to the end of the movie. I was still waiting for it to flip. Like, no. Uh -uh. She has to be oppressed. And I was disappointed. Not because, not because yeah. the movie was not nice well, or because weird. she did execute it well, but because Patience was not was the one being oppressed. She's an excellent like, actor. No. You, can, you can't take that away from her. She is an excellent actor. Which is one of the reasons why I actually have a drawing to Lucy because I like Patience as Okwa. So, and since she's no, being compared to. Patience as Okwa is acting. Lucy is who she is. There are mm -hmm. two There's different things. Very things. big difference. So please let's let's know what we are saying. Okay. <laughs> Tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and of course analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Trey Songs is being trolled, and here is why. He took to his Instagram story to say, Any female born after 1993 cannot cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge their phone, twerk, and be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. <clears throat> End of quotes. <laughs> There's something very, like, um, tacky what is the I? word. <laughs> it's very tacky. I mean, I, Trey Songs is someone that. I went to crushes. This is like one of my first time having crushes on people on the screen. Yeah, not crushes. So I feel like I've had this idea of him that he's just so like perfect and mysterious and sexy. No one and oh my perfect. gosh. Yeah. Every time he opens his mouth though, it's like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, first of all, you're 30-something. 30 36, 35. 1984. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Six. You put to this in personal law. And all you had to write on the on, on the subjects matter while the the blood on the street is still wet in your black community. You, you had to not talk about 1996, which is not even a problem. No, Let's 1992, not, sorry. 93. 93. 93 girls, mm. sorry. Let's not even, you know, age shame or whatever. 93 still as you adults, whatever. Okay, cool. But then the fact that the people that you are around are like that is disappointing to me because I'm pretty sure there is tangible, respectable, mature 26 year olds. And you're not attracting those ones. You're attracting the people who like iPhones. So it speaks very ill of you. And secondly, the type of stereotypical things that you're talking about <laughs> is so childish. Like you're talking about being bisexual. First of all, that's not something to joke about. It's people's sexualities. And you're messing around with that. It's not funny. And then you're talking about twerking. And like, who are you hanging around with? Even if a 26 year old boy said this, I'll be like, bro, you need to change your circle. More or less a grown man. A 36 year old man. Not a 36 year old man. Yeah, Do you want to add to close this stuff or should we just move close on? To 40. Because, close to 40. Because she has a said full at 40 is what? <laughs> he has not, <laughs> not full yet. He has not yeah, full so yet. let's just hope that when he's 40, stop straight and shit. But what if he just, just, <laughs> stop just playing stuff around? Like like okay, no. So, um, <laughs> Do you want to defend him? Back to Trey Songz. Uh, if, uh, are you defending him or not? I'm, I'm, I'm about, you know I'm a balanced person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a balanced Balance diet. <laughs> okay, so. 
it's okay for you to think that the new generation girls, you know, when you want to like generalize it and say that. Uh, 1993 is not even new generation. No, at all. Yeah, it, no, 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 no. Let's even talk about 90s because um, I'm an 80s baby, right? And um, I'm sure uh, um, he's, he's an 80s baby as well. So I'm sure a lot it's of people. You're not 80s baby, you're 80s children. 80s babies can't, 80s cannot be babies anymore. <laughs> Please, yeah. I'm still a baby. Let's respect ourselves. <laughs> so I get it when people feel like people from the 90s are, you know, they, they didn't see the black and white television. They did not spend cobalt. They mm. did not buy some certain um, candies that we bought, you know, and stuff. You you understand where I'm coming Maybe from? Maybe he was referring to the Gen Z people. Maybe he yeah. just... No, no. I'm, 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 said I'm, 1993. I'm, I'm pretty sure so he read it. I, I you know get it. I get about. it when people feel like, okay, a lot of things had improved compared to when we were growing Definitely. up. I get it when people say that. But generalizing, because I've seen 15-year-olds mm. at my age that can cook pretty good. I've seen 20 that can cook pretty good. Hmm. And these people are not um, 1993, like he's making reference to. So I think it's, it's, it's based on the own training. There are a lot of mothers that would say, okay, come see. They're not even so telling... You're going far. It's based on this man. Mm. If you are attracting a certain type of it. people I constantly... Get I get it. Because we're not going to take it, take it away from him and say that like, there's people who are 93, 1993 and younger who fit that category. We're not going to deny that. Yeah. But why, but why he, are you focusing why on that? Why is his, that your issue? Why is it his problem that some people cannot cook? Because yeah. it's going with whiskey's advice. You can say 1993, I'll be girls. What should we maybe take men on to like... Thank you. Too, you. If yeah, you want to talk about 1993 yeah. men too. Men no, let's talk about 1993 to men too. A lot of 1993 so men are very responsible. What are you trying to talk about? Who are you trying to... Sh it sounds to me like high school... This is why I expect a high school student to tweet. I also feel like he tweet. knows what he's doing. Thank you. I think he I knows that there. this is going to get a lot of people talking. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's dropping something real Thank soon. you. So Don't he gets it. <laughs> well, um, uh, if, that's, I mean, if that's the Tristan case, is not that dumb. I think when, the song, when, like, 1993 when, is on the way. Is when coming. people do all these type of things, and I'm hoping we'll, we'll, we'll record this this, we'll this, be this video. Yes, amen. Mm. Mm. I, I'll record this video. If this song has nothing to do with these tweets okay. that he's dropping. Mm. Then we'll come for him. Then I'm coming for him again to say, sir, you are immature and you don't have substance yeah. that you're okay. supposed to be having at your age. But don't be offended. At, but, but, That's but, but, what I'm going to say. He's sorry. Day, <laughs> at the end of the day, let's take to the... Let's take what we need to take out of this tweet. Which is what? Which, which is what? Disregard what we what do you need, to, need take? to disregard. And what I think we need to take is that um, there's this stereotypical... Uh, mentality of men that people that are born in a new generation do not know how to cook, right? So I think it's it's not compulsory. Cooking is not even a gender-based thing. If you want to be in love with somebody who was born well, in you know 19, you can live this life who, without cooking. Who, who, do you get, get in the life of it. He even said, it, he, said he, he called restaurants and stuff. So why do we have that's, restaurants if I have to, to cook? Money last, last. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Nicki Minaj is let off the hook in copyright infringement case against Tracy Chapman. She was hit with the court um, action in 2018. Baby, can I hold you tonight? Well, you'll feature you in the next one. How should I leave you? Well, um, I, I, knew, I knew this um, lawsuit wasn't going to hold waters. Why? Because um, it was a non-release song. Mm. 
it was a DJ who put it together. Mm. I, uh, for the life of me now, I can't remember the name of the DJ. Um, I almost said DJ Humility. <laughs> it was a DJ. I saw it just before yeah, it came on. Um, it's very popular in America, though. Mm -hmm. but, the New um, York DJ. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it was the one who put this together. So it was an unreleased song. It made it to the internet via the DJ's platform, not via um, Nicki Nicki Minaj, not via NASA's platform. So I knew this wasn't going to hold waters in court because it's an unreleased track. As mean it made it to one of our albums or one mm. of our released stuff, then yes, this lawsuit would make sense. Mm. And then the but difference don't you think is, if, if the DJ didn't go ahead to do that, it was going to be on that album and it would have been a bigger issue because i think that was also because the song yeah, was they, not they, they omitted said, from the album or yeah so. uh, they, that's what they would say that it was omitted but i feel like that song didn't even have enough vibe for it to mm. even make the album mm. in the first place because it's not his I, song I think that there's that but i also think that i think f this for me doesn't mean that she was necessarily innocent in terms of yeah, not copying true. it mm -hmm. i just think that no, no, she, she was completely copied it yes no okay. i listened to oh, it okay. and the difference is Baby, can I hold mm -hmm. you tonight? And our own version. Baby, can I hold you tonight? <laughs> Do you understand? We're twerking. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's it's. As it's, a 1993 it's, baby. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's 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 the same thing. It's just the first version of the original. Yes, version. absolutely. So I, I I thought maybe we were not taking. No, no, that was not Yeah. Saying. Okay. Because yeah. for me, it felt like well, you won this because you were, I guess, smart or lucky. She didn't make money or from both. Yes, yeah. exactly that as well. But I also like that Nikki hasn't really a lot. Of the times when Nikki gets into lawsuits, whatever, she has a tendency of taking to social media, throwing subs at the person and things like that. I have to say, though, for somebody who's, who talks a lot, I even has the radio, Queen Radio thing, I'm obsessed with Nikki, so I hear everything. I'm kind of, I kind of, I'm glad that she she was quite mature about, about this particular one. Yeah. one. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm sure it took a lot from her not to say something because it's a big deal and it was dragged for a long time. I'm glad that she still listened to... Um, uh, what's it called legal okay. advice and didn't say anything about it because she has done this many times before and then you know it comes back to back back Let me fire bust your but now i think it also matters what is suing you mm. tracy chapman it's is not a joke. big mm. do you understand she has been big and she would always be big i'm sure the the just 70s, like the like 70s saying, babies are still it's just like saying tracy chapman wants to sue me I'll look for where she is. I go and lie and like, mommy, from <laughs> your friend dead man. Well, I don't Ongo know what I did yeah. or how I did it, but I am I sorry. I don't know. It wasn't me. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. It wasn't my real thinking, face. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't so me. I think it matters who is suing you as well yeah. and what song it is. You know, that's that's a classic. It would always be a classic. It will yeah, always, it will always be. be a classic. And I hope that it gets to work together at some point. And me I too. think that would make me feel excited because it would mean that we can also go above our issues and differences yeah. and come together to create magic so i'm hoping i don't know why that came to my mind so maybe i'm prophesying oh, she hey, she she into <laughs> reality sister okay Hallelujah. maybe when she gives birth to baby petty they would now say baby can i oh, hold you we're already we're already killing the creativity uh, Nikki, but we need to go we need to go <laughs> thank you for watching and please do send your opinions via whatsapp to 090 or twitter at us at plus tv africa also watch this episode on youtube and of course all our exclusive content at plus tv africa my thank you as always to go to my co-anchor sife omai and ife oluwa shukeye and the entire production team thank you for watching my name is elsie godwin stay safe